I was having a debate with one of my buddies on, and this was before the Chiefs game, of what the clear path was for the Bills to make the playoffs. And he was very much on the clearest path as winning the division. Um, I, I had it kind of at a, at a coin flip. <clears throat> After this weekend and how all the games shook out, um, despite Miami winning, I, I think the clearest path and, you know, the the least stressful way for the Bills to do it is is to win the division. Um, you got a couple games coming up that the Bills should be able to take care of their business um, against the Chargers and then the Patriots. Um, and then the, the Jet, or I'm sorry, the, the Dolphins, um, I was expecting them to have to drop basically the Dallas and the Baltimore game. Um, they had that surprising loss to the Titans, and it's definitely not one I was counting on. Definitely one that helps us out <clears throat> significantly. So if the Bills are able to win out here, I mean, you're talking about you need the Dolphins to to lose one of the next two games here um, between the Cowboys and the Ravens. And I'll tell you what, I feel like the Cowboys are going to be coming into that game pretty revved up. And then the Ravens are looking like maybe the best team in the AFC right now um, before wrapping up with the Bills Week 18. Um, so week 18 could be all the marbles for the division. I I do think if the Bills are able to get themselves in the position to be playing for the division week 18, probably means they've also locked up a wild card spot, but I don't want to play that game. Um, we saw how dominant the Patriots were in this division for so long, and... <clears throat> We've kind of we've kind of started on that path, um, and it looked like it was a complete lost cause like three weeks ago. Um, now looking at it, it doesn't seem all that unreasonable. <clears throat> I mean, I know we have a loss to the Patriots this year, um, super embarrassing, and the Bills right now are a completely different team than when we played them last. Um, there's some talk about the, um, you know, we just fired our coach bump for the Chargers. It's a thing. Um, it, it, it is a thing. We see it time and time again. Um, just a really struggling team fires their coach and bounces back and, and has like one game that's just completely out of character. And then they kind of go back to who they were. Um, I'm not as concerned about that with the Chargers right now. Um, I, I think they... I think they looked pretty... pretty tapped out in that massacre against the Raiders. And... Yeah, you can, you can get that... you know, interim head coach bump for a game. But... You're talking about a defense with talent all over the field that gave up 63... Um, to the Raiders, you know, who who aren't very good. You know, they scored what? Uh, or held shut out the previous week against the Vikings. Um, and then on offense, you know, their star receiver in Keenan Allen was hurt. I don't know if he'll be back this week. I don't know if they kind of shut him down because they're, they're not playing for anything at this point. <clears throat> but they're... You know, their franchise quarterback, Justin Herbert, isn't going to be playing. Um, so I think there is a lot. There are a lot of examples of getting that that one game bump for an interim head coach. Um, I think a lot of times the context is very different of, you know, a team was underperforming, but all their pieces are there and you, you fired a coach and boom, they unlock something with the starting quarterback that was already there, and, you know, they're able to to rise up for a game. Um, I think it's a whole different situation when, you know, the, the team is... I don't think they're technically eliminated yet, but 
Chargers aren't going to the playoffs, uh, and, and you're playing your backup quarterback. You just got absolutely annihilated. Uh, so, I mean, realistically, the Bills should rattle off the next two and be sitting at 10-6 and six headed into that Miami game. And as it stands right now, um, like I said, Miami's got Dallas and Baltimore coming up. I I wouldn't be surprised to see them lose both of those games. Um, so certainly not the upcoming end of the season that I was expecting going into this year. Um, had the Bills at something like, you know, 13 wins. Uh, 12, 13 wins, you know. Maybe edging Miami out for the division by like one game. Uh, I, I did think Miami was going to be some competition this year. Um, then we got about halfway through the season and, you know, I still think we'll make the playoffs, but it's, you know, going to be as a wild card spot. We're not going to catch Miami, blah, blah, blah. Um, down to, you know, three games left and that division's still on the table. The Bills just got to <clears throat> go out there and handle their business. 